Hello everyone, today I'm unboxing Alcrate. Alcrate is a monthly YA book box that comes every month and it comes with a newly released YA hardback book and it's with a theme so you get three to five bookish items coinciding with that theme and yeah, I have a coupon code for you if you want to use it for the first time you can use the code bookables to get 10 I'm holding the books in my hand, 10% off your very first box, which I recommend you do. I don't make any money off of it, it's just to help you guys save money, which is a huge goal of mine. Saving money for myself and saving money for you. So, saving money, coupons, don't let people joke on you for that because your girl uses them every single week and I'm okay with it. <laughs> so, this theme, I'm gonna say it's like Murder Mayhem, maybe? I don't know. Um, forgive me. Let's figure out together. It is murder and mayhem. Ooh, I was right for once in my life. This card is like a masquerade ball and this girl is about to assassinate somebody, so it's going to get interesting. Either way, I love their card. It's going to tell you what's everything in the back. Um, the first thing I see is this. I don't know what this is. Very weirdly shaped, so it doesn't feel like a tote bag, I don't think. Oh, yes, it's one of those. So this is like a drawstring book bag and it's got skulls, light bulbs with bones in them. It's got feathers and daggers. And I will actually use this for like, because we go to theme parks a lot in the summertime. Oh, it goes like this actually. Sorry. Um, I go to theme parks a lot in the summertime and this is perfect. <gasps> and I love that it's got a little zip pouch right here so you can put like a credit card or anything like that and you can zip it up so it stays safe. And it stays on your back. So that is perfect. So you wear it, you know, I would do the other side, but I'm lazy. Um, but either way, like, I really like this. I will use this 100% for sure this summer. Like, this could be a great beach bag, a great going to theme parks bag, car bag. I'm going to use it. It's cute. I like it. Yay. I love practical things. <laughs> Ooh, the next thing I see is a cup. Look at this. It's such cute packaging. This is inspired by Never Night by Jay Kristoff, designed by Catriona Book Designs. That is awesome. I love their packaging. They go all out with it. It's got the same like design as what's on the book bag, actually. Backpack. I don't know what you call it. This is a nice mug. This is like, I don't know what this is made of, but it's not plastic. I'll tell you that. At least I don't think so. But it's got like one of these things to help it for hotness. It's got roses on it. It's got ravens. It's designed by Never. It says never flinch, never fear, never forget. That is awesome. So you can put hot or cold drinks in it. I'm going to use this a lot. I like this a lot. Like I love cups like this. I actually prefer these over mugs because you can fit more drink in them and you can take them on the go. So two for two for Alcrate. Loving it so far. The next thing I see is a candle and this is Malachi, which is from um, the Songs of Verity series by Victoria Schwab. It's a YA fantasy series that's one of my favorites. This, oh, this is very fruity. This is pomegranate. Yeah, it smells like it. I'm not a fruity scent person when it comes to candles, but either way, I love this. This is from In the Wick of Time. It's really cute, perfect for bookstagram photos, which story of my life. <laughs> um, next thing I see. A wooden bookmark. This has got to be from Ink and Wonder. Yes, I love their wooden bookmarks. They're my favorites. The snows fall and the white winds blow. The lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Game of Thrones, of course. Of course they would put that in here because the final season of Game of Thrones is coming out this month. I'm watching for sure, even though I haven't watched all the episodes. I keep up with what's going on, I'll tell you that. But either way, this is beautiful. I love it. I love all of their bookmarks. They're one of my favorite companies. Um, then I see, oh, a sticker. Mine got kind of bent, actually. A sticker, and this says, if I want revenge and I want my crown. Oh, this has got to be from Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm putting this in my planner. Another great YA fantasy series. This is amazing. This is from Jamila Milano. I hopefully I pronounced that right. I apologize. But either way, uh, stunning. So, like, wow, how crazy. I think that's all that's in there. Yes. Oh, and they're pendant. So they come with pendants. This is amazing. This is actually like, it moves. It's like a compass, but it moves. Oh, I can see what's on here. I already know what the book is just by looking at this. This is actually very stunning. I will put this probably on my backpack. I love it that it especially moves. It looks steampunkish and vintage all in one. I love it. Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schulte. I have actually, for one time ever, probably for Alcree, already read this. This came out in February, I believe. Um, I think. I'm not sure. 
um, but I read it. I did not love it as much as I wanted to, but it was interesting. And I do believe this is a standalone YA fantasy book. So that's what I love about it is that it's standalone. So I feel like I don't have to continue on with the series. This is different from the cover. The cover is more bluish, I would say. This is very pretty, beautiful cover. It is signed. That's awesome. So what this book is all about is we have these four quadrants in this world and each and a queen um, kind of rules each quadrant. And we follow this kind of mischief, mischievous girl named Curly, uh, um, and she steals, and then she steals like this comp chip that shows the murder plans for all four of these queens. So she decides to team up with this guy and try to save the queens from an untimely death because somebody's planning their murder and they don't know who. So that is what this book is all about. I definitely love the plot twist. The ending was nice. Overall, like, I enjoyed it. I would recommend it if you're looking for for a great standalone YA fantasy book, this is a great one for that. So either way, that's awesome. I enjoyed it. It's got deckled edges too, in case you're into that. Um, oh, you're also getting, there's actually the Four Queens ring a letter from the author with that on it. It's a beautifully, it's a beautiful book. And you're getting a pencil that says, one conspiracy, four dead queens. My husband will probably use this for like woodwork and stuff. <laughs> and then you're getting a little booklet that tells you what's all in the box. Like I said, yes. So the original cover is much more bluish and then you have the red. I kind of like the red. I feel like it fits in with the book more. Um, and then you just get more information about this um, box and everything like that. And you're getting a card of next month's theme, which is the dark side. That's cool. And then you're also getting a scarf from bookmark tattoos i'm always up for book scarves any day of the week so really good box so as always i'm going to go by my least favorite thing working up to my favorite i think my least favorite thing will be the candle because i just don't love the scent but it's a beautifully made candle then oh boy i don't know i like everything else i guess i'll have to go with the sticker like i like sticker but i can't really use it a ton but either way i really love it then the bookmark i love the bookmark i will use it and then i'll put the cup next i love the cup and my favorite's the book bag like backpack i don't know um i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this like i can't wait to wear this bad boy this is my favorite thing so overall a really good Alcrate box. Like I loved everything in it. So that is amazing. I highly recommend you check out Alcrate. I think they're a great book company. I love all the items they pick with their stuff. Like this fits everything perfectly, like all YA fantasy stuff. So yay. Either way, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.